Well, we started over a year ago. It's been just past our one year mark in working with active duty. Jan's a distributor of mine in Agile and, and loves the products and is, owns a uh, massage therapy clinic here in San Antonio. We're a group of massage therapists with um, a lot of expertise more toward the clinical side. She gave me a call and I guess for about six months or so prior to that she had uh, been working with uh, the Intrepid which is kind of the Brick Army Medical Center, the, the burn care unit there. Uh, where there's about 700 military burn victims, if you will, from all over the world. I was injured in Afghanistan, uh, August 19, 2006. It was an uh, IED. Um, I think it was a couple of landmines stacked up, anti-tank mines hit the gas tanks, threw me like 50 feet. Well, I was in Afghanistan for about four months before I got injured. Uh, I was blown up and I got uh, burnt because the explosion hit my fuel tank and set me and my friends on fire. August 21st, 2006, uh, I was in charge of uh, building an Iraqi police station. In about five months, because I was so successful, uh, the uh, Al-Qaeda put out a hit on me for half a million, and I had a suicide truck bomber with 200 tanks of propane on the back, like a flatbed truck, garden truck. Uh, drive to my front gate and detonate it. They could see me inside the cab and that fire just going all the way around me. And then all of a sudden, you know, I'm kicking the door open and, and trying to get out and walk around. And, and uh, they said it was just really amazing, you know, for me to even be alive. And the vehicle ran over a pressure plate IED with some uh, chlorine in it. So it set the vehicle on fire and along with myself. And we were on a routine weapons cache search. We turned left and started going over a canal bridge and IED went off and we got hit with about 500 pounds worth of explosives. So it ruptured the fuel tank and just, you know, incinerated us pretty much. What we wanted to do is just volunteer to see if we could help and uh, send a few of the guys over here to see if at all any of the work we could do would help. Very skeptical at first because, you know, you, you, you get all that, the hokey pokey stuff with massages, you know, and I know everyone's heard about it. Me, uh, I never had a massage or really been to any spas before, so to me they're, you know, it seemed a little girly at first. The first day that I was in here, they did a diagnostic, you know, of my disabilities and the things that they could help me on. When Jan started touching my neck, you know, was trying to find out where it hurt. She found out the spots where, you know, it hurt, and she started working on it just right then as, while they're doing their diagnostic. That night, I, I slept better than I have in, you know, the whole time. And it wasn't long uh, before we had some contact direct from the hospital saying, we're really appreciative of what you're doing. Can you take more? And, uh, and yes, we could, and we wanted to. Within the first three weeks, I was seeing amazing results, and they, you know, it continues to this day. Just every day, it seems like I get a little bit better. I mean, this massage therapy it works, and it really improves the quality of life for these soldiers that are having a hard time getting around. It's uh, amazing. I mean, when I first got here, it was there were so many issues to deal with. I'd be, I mean, Jan and Richard were the ones working on me, and they'd, I'd get here like one and not leave until like five, six o'clock. We do it thumb by thumb, finger joint by finger joint, by the palm of the hand, a finger or two at a time, a jaw at a time, a lip at a time, a shoulder at a time, an elbow at a time, a knee, a hip, a leg, a foot. So it's really rewarding work. I mean, these are, these are guys that are 25 to 97 percent of their bodies are third, fourth, and fifth degree burns. I mean, it's just amazing that they can even endure that kind of pain. Burns are some of the most devastating types of injuries. Going forward every step of the way is excruciating. Initially, you know, when I heard about what, what Jan was doing, I was like, man, I want to be a part of that. Uh, whatever I can do to volunteer or give time or whatever, I want to be a part of that. I've advised every single guy um, because every single guy has joint damage, joint injury, to take at least two flex. 
to XOs um, in the pro. I think it's Flex, the one that's for, for joint pain. I mean, that's really starting to help out. And I couldn't make a fist over here. The most I could get was about that, you know, on a daily basis, even with therapy. And once I started taking the Flex, I've noticed that I can get down to where it's almost a full fist now. These products are working. They all do what they're supposed to do. And, um, you know, I've got nothing bad to say, except for the taste of Flex. But, you know, the benefits, they outweigh the negative, so. I mean, think about, you know, you're talking 35, you know, 30, 35 individuals right now that Agile has donated already over 500 boxes of product. Agile is very interested in supporting, you know, their, their wellness and getting better. And we've already had comments on how good the Flex is and uh, that they're starting to notice a difference. You know, I mean, they, they're not looking for sympathy, they're not looking for handouts, they're not looking for anything like that. They're just looking for recovery. And they all are very much appreciative of Agile doing this. I mean, they just think it's wonderful. My heart goes out to them. I understand, you know, what they've gone through and it's just, it's just an inspiration to be a part of it, to be around them. It's been very impressive to them that Agile has quickly responded, quickly come down, and given their unconditional support to support these guys, and they really appreciate it. They really do.